Hi my beauty fashion girls, it's me Alyssa. So today I'm going to be doing my top 9 lip product favorites for March. Um, so these are, you know, my top 9 favorites of all time. So let's get started. And they're in this cute little Hello Kitty bin. So how cool is that? So let's start off with lip balms because with me and lip balms, I'm... They never seem to get finished, so we just keep on using them. All right, so first I'm gonna start off with my all-time favorite that have saved my lips, lives. So my first one is the Nivea A Kiss of Smoothness, and this is Dehydrating Lip Care with SPF 4. Um, I like this because it's lightweight and it doesn't really have a scent. And you know, there's something in here because I finished it, so. It's just light and airy, so it just really makes your lips nice and smooth. And, you know, with me, I make, I like to make sure the chapstick is going to make my lips soft. So I really have found that this makes my lips very, very soft, and I love that. Then next are two EOS lip balms. Um, I love EOS. These are really cool because they're a little egg-shaped. And, um, so the first one I have is the Strawberry Sorbet one. Um, the Strawberry Sorbet one is my favorite because it smells like straight-up strawberries. And it's just a very fun scent for the spring and also summer, so I really like this. And it just smells so good. I don't know, it smells like fresh strawberries, so I like that. And then I have the Sweet Mint now, the sweet mint one I love because it gives a tingly feeling. Um, and it's very minty and strong, which I really like because I like mint scents. And it's just amazing. So um, I really do recommend these because these are just really great. So I love the mint scent because um, it's just really great. And I really like it for winter and spring because it just works really well. And then the last lip balm I have is a Baby Lips uh, by Maybelline. And this is in, what color is this? What is this? <laughs> this is in Pink Punch, which is this bright neon pink. Now, I'm going to see if this shows up on my skin, but. All right, here's a, here's a swatch, but it shows up different on your lips. But I love this color. It's like not too of a bright, bright pink. But it is wearable because it just gives like a tint of, you know, like a neon pink, which is a really nice finish. So I really like that. And I do find them to be um, a bit moisturizing. Um, some people think they're not that moisturizing, but I find it to be a little bit moisturizing, which is really great. Now I'm going to go on to my NYC Ultra Last Lipwear Lipstick. Oh, got a mouthful of a name. And this is in Blue Rose. Now, this is um, a pink with, like, you know, blue undertones in it. Um, my camera's not really doing this justice, but... I'm um, sorry that it looks all, like, you know, messed up. My brother kind of did that. Um, yeah. But it's, like, this really nice color. Here it is, right here. Now, what it just looks like, it has, like, blue undertones, and it's, like, this dark, you know, pink. I'm not really sure what kind of pink you describe it as. Maybe, like, a very dark fuchsia color. But it's very gorgeous because it really does make you look feminine, and it just is really nice. And it does pair up nicely. <laughs> now, lastly are all these wet and wild... Mega Last Lipsticks. Now me, I'm like addicted to these things. I have like tons. Like I have so many more of these. This is like only maybe half. But I got tons more. Um, so the first one is in Don't Blink Pink. Now what this one is, is just a um, hot pink. It's more... It's more of a hot pink. Um, 
which I really like this because I love I, I wear a lot of you know pink colors like especially like hot pinks and that's like the perfect hot pink right there because it's not too bright but it is really nice so I like that one and then the next one I have is in think pink and I'm actually wearing it on my lips so here's what it looks like now what this is is just like a BB doll pink that's very light and more for if you want to be um, nude um, it's more if you want to be on like the nude side but not have too much you know color um, so it is a more wearable look because it will go with a lot of more outfits if you don't like bright colors and then next is the mauve outa now this one is one of my favorites because I think it's just very feminine for you know girls and I just find it to be more feminine um, so there's a swatch and I do have a tutorial featuring this on how you can get a really nice lip look so I will be linking that down below hopefully or you could just go to my channel um, I forget a lot but it's called Mauve Out of My Lip Tutorial, and I show you how to get a really nice feminine um, girly lip look featuring that product, and I think it turned out gorgeous. And then, lastly, is one of my favorite pinks, because I need this pink. As in, this is in Dollhouse Pink, and this is the Bright Barbie Doll Pink Nicki Minaj Lipstick you will find. Um... And like seriously, that is your Nicki Minaj Barbie doll pink right there. So those are all the lipsticks, and I love this lipstick because it goes with my outfits. And I'm like, I'm like this person that loves bright bold lipsticks, and I'm not afraid to go out and be ashamed. So that is my top nine lip products that are my favorites for March. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Give me the core.